Hey guys, welcome back. So today I thought I would do an interesting topic that I've never talked about before and it is about the fan cam culture and about Korean stylists. Now there was a video by a user Kpop Corn who did a video about Kpop idols wearing uncomfortable clothes and it has like a million views on it. You guys should check that video out. They point out some good evidences of why girl groups wear uncomfortable clothes where they constantly have to adjust their clothes. Why is the sizing so weird? And we want what is going on in stylist's head and why they would make them wear that and I have really really good possible answers to answer that questions for you guys and why it's probably not likely to change first of all before we get into the video I have to show you off today like this outfit girl it is spring it is so nice out today I want to go outside because you know my birthday is in May and I want to be hanging out with my friends <laughs> But anyway, you guys, let's get into the fan cam culture. There's a lot of people who think fan cams are straight up bad and some people who love watching fan cams. Now, I was never really into the fan cam culture until recently why I saw that this could be a potential big problem. What about these like perverted gifs that just comes on? This fan cam zooms up on one member and it makes you see the dance clearer. It makes you focus on the person, the outfit, the expressions, everything. It's like Amplified by times 10. Let's take a look at some of the famous viral fan cams. Look at Dada from Hello Venus. This video has 3 million videos. I honestly think she's so beautiful. Now, I've asked a lot of guy friends about this, but a lot of guys say they know these certain group members, but not really the group. They know these artists just because of the fan cams and because they go viral. Now, that's Hello Venus song is called Wiggle Wiggle. You know what the song's about. The song's lyrics is shake your butt, shake your booty, wiggle wiggle that. The dance moves now you see what the dance move is all about it is going hand in hand with the lyrics and the song now when I asked my guy friends why he picked not a Hello Venus video he said well the song is about wiggle wiggle so she's wearing a very very short skirt with a safety short now there's something about safety short that guys also love for us girls like a lot of girls were like give her safety short protect her but then guys are like they actually like it when they wear safety shorts let's take a look at some of the comments it says Oh my god, the thumbnail. I don't mean to hate, but the other girl's flat as a board. Oh my god, give Nancy some safety shorts. Why won't their company give them safety shorts? I feel bad for them. I love how she doesn't care about the preference of Koreans, but has some flesh to her bones. So my yeah. guy friends would say they like watching pretty girls, and they actually like a lot of K-pop idols that have a bit of curviness to them. You know, different than the regular Korean standard image, and they actually like that. Let's go on to AOA Seolhyun. Now you guys know that Dive Into My was a really big song and it was I think one of their songs that really blew them up. They say that AOA went on this like concept change at first they were really about this band. They were doing these other concepts and then they changed it dramatically to this sexy concept where it really blew them up. Now when I was watching this fan cam I was actually really surprised because I didn't know I wasn't like a hardcore follower of AOA but I could really know why guys and even girls love watching Seolhyun and these fan cams. I could finally see what the song is really about, what the dance is about, what the choreographer was thinking when they were making up all these dances, what AOA's Hollyhun was trying to portray with this dance as an artist, the expressions on her face, the outfits, and how everything goes hand in hand, and it makes her really look sexy. And she Now, when I asked my guy friends and they brought up AOA's Hollyhun, I said, why do you watch this Hollyhun video? One of the guy oh, yeah. friend says, she does wear a safety short, but you could see her kind of adjusting the outfit. And you can see the safety short kind of disappearing into her real outfit. That's what that's what he said. And guys' point of view, these are little details that they like to watch. Now let's take a look at Honey's video. I believe she has one of the most famous fan cam videos as a K-pop girl group, even still standing today. The song is really good. Like I really have to say, the song is addictive. Even if you translate it into English, the song is translated to up and down. At the dance moves, it's up and down. Now this is a really good example because I believe fan cam culture just skyrocketed after Honey's video went viral because EXID Honey was talking about how poor they were before they blew up and how they were actually giving up on their dreams as K-pop idols and as singers because they really got no attention. It just proves that just because of this one fan cam, I mean, their whole lives were changed. Back when Honey's fan cam went viral and then they did really well, I talked to this one staff member who actually wor worked with EXID and he would say that they would use Honey's example 
quote from the fan cam blowing up and they would purposely like sometimes pay the pages or they would ask the pages like on the Facebook page or like viral marketing kind of pages. They would ask them to upload these fan cam videos of their group in order to stir up a buzz on the internet. So companies do this on purpose as well and I don't think that is bad at all. And this was one of the most controversial songs by Stellar. It's called Marianne. Mary Antone. You guys know that Stellar kind of like people know about this group because of this song and what the group was known for. And a lot of people actually now know Stellar because of this video, but a lot of people do believe because of this sexy concept, Stellar ended up kind of not doing well after that. They received a lot of backlash from the song just because it was like too inappropriate, it was too sexy. But then in my opinion, I honestly don't believe blame the girls or the company at all. Maybe the girls felt really uncomfortable doing this concept but at the same time the company trying to start up a buzz and start up something so they could save this group from disbanding but it just goes to show how hard it is to sometimes please the audience because you never really know if the concept is gonna work or not and they spent so much money on it all right so let's go to the topic of the k-pop stylists and the uncomfortable clothes that a lot of k-pop girls need to wear number one a lot of the times the artists actually don't choose their outfits the stylists or the companies do usually the company tells the stylists to get certain clothes such as certain concepts and things like that now you might say well why don't you just speak up up and say you don't like this style girl that's not how it works in korea now especially when you're a rookie and you're really young usually it's a sign of being disobedient and a lot of companies and stylists who are older than you they will look down upon that member because they like to speak up and be a little disobedient like there was this one stylist back when i was a trainee and we had to do this like meeting performances live and we went to the stylist's personal office where they had a lot of clothes and the stylist picked one and say hey you try this and you try this and you try this now she had a bit of strong personality and if you say something she kind of gives you this like attitude or like it, it they just give you this vibe that you can't ask for small favors or that you don't like the clothes sometimes you actually don't even get to know what outfit you're wearing until the rehearsal i even had those times after i finished the show on tv sometimes i had like interviews Sometimes I had like venues that I had to go to all the way like down to Busan area And sometimes I can't pick out the outfits because I was too busy or I can't go to the office to personally pick out the outfits And usually the managers or the companies do that So I remember like when I got to the venue and we were rehearsing That's when like my managers brought the clothing And obviously like we can't go back to the company and there's no time to go back and forth So I just have to wear whatever they gave me And sometimes like you don't know that there's a problem with the clothing until you're doing the rehearsal or even until the real show the real deal so many times you just have to deal with what you got and i believe that's the reasons why in a lot of these fan cams you do see girls that are very uncomfortable like they've never worn this before like it's their first time wearing and they didn't know that they had all these problems now the third reason i believe is one of the main reasons why you cannot get your clothes altered this is because many of the clothes are borrowed there's not actually a lot of companies unless you're like a really big group where they actually purchase all the clothes for all the members because it's expensive because designer clothes are way too expensive and buying clothes for like six to nine to eleven members for one show you guys know that usually they wear the clothes once or twice max it's way too expensive it just does not make sense financially for a company to purchase all these clothes just for one show or one venue because of this there's actually a lot of companies where they borrow clothes for these special events for photo shoots venues and artists so I even remember when I went to one of these venues because we had to borrow clothes So it's just like an office looking place where you go and there's a bunch of clothes and you just pick out what you want And this is a great way for companies to cut down on their budget But this is one of the reasons why you can't alter the clothes because these are borrowed That's why sometimes you see girls that are adjusting that are too big Sizes that might be too small So sometimes a stylist might get a clothes that is too small and it's too late to go back and exchange it And a lot of these times that these places where you borrow clothes these are one-offs there's also times when the clothes belong to the stylist herself or her team that's why i think you see a lot of like clothes that are repeated through some artists and you see this artist wearing it and that artist wearing it that could be because the clothes might be borrowed or it's 
you know, the same team stylist. And again, because they're, you know, reusing this outfits for different people, you can't alter it for yourself. But there are big famous artists who get their clothes personally altered and purchased. And I know that YG Entertainment, especially Big Bang, especially like Blackpink and 21, they had like personal stylists that, that made these one-off items just for these artists. Now, K-pop corn and some people pointed out, but why do you make girls wear such short shorts that they have to keep on adjusting it? Other than the reasons that I said right before, I do believe that there are some girls who request these things. They actually request, you know, a more shorter outfit, something that looks good. For example, you know, when I had the interview with Brown Eyed Girls video on me, she actually told me that she requested a certain style. Back then, really shocking to the audience because it was a way of her really wanting to portray herself as an artist and she really wanted that attention as an artist in a positive way. And I think that is a perfectly great way to just try and make it in the industry. Also, even as a girl, I know that, you know, if you wear a skirt that comes up to your knees or, you know, a little bit, you know, above the knees as well, it doesn't look great, you know? Um, and a lot of the times, the Asian body type is very different from the Western body type. I do believe that a lot of Westerners, their legs are longer than Asians. Usually in the Asian body type, your legs are a little bit shorter and that is just a natural genetic of Asians. So in a lot of the times, girls were shorter or girls who want to make their legs look longer in order for it to look appealing to the audience and for music videos and shows, they purposely make the shorts or skirts really short in order for them to really make themselves look like they have long legs. Anyway, in conclusion, this is not all true. I mean, there are groups that gain a lot of attention for just their talents and just, you know, other things than outfits and fan cams and things like that. Anyway, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to know what you guys have thought about this topic. Leave a comment down below. Remember to like this video. It really helps me out a lot. If you're an early bird and you have the notification on and subscribed, I will reply to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys.